Hey there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate you watching our videos. Uh, we do say that our videos are all about Disney, travel, shopping, and food. Well, we're finally getting to do a little bit of travel uh, in Las Vegas right now. And one of the things that Peg and I discovered in Vegas when we came here years and years ago was basically free parking wherever you go to any of the casinos. Well, I'm going to explain how that's changed, but before we do that, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button below, also the bell notification button below. That'll notify you when we put up future videos. Um, and also the, uh, the like button too, because that does help us out immensely. Uh, to give you a little um, reference as to where we are right now, we're coming down Sahara to the Las Vegas Strip. And honey, if you remember the first time we came here, I think we stayed on the other side of the Strip from where we are now in what is now the, uh, what is it, the uh, LBS, the Las Vegas Hotel? It's uh, Westgate. Westgate. Hotel. It used to be the Las Vegas Hilt, where Elvis played when he was alive. I lived. And lived, actually. Uh, we stayed there the first time we came here, and we discovered that wherever you drove, didn't matter what casino you went to, you could always park for free, because they expected you to go in and, and gamble and make money that way. Well, the pandemic changed all that. Uh, during the pandemic, after Vegas shut down and then reopened, they started charging, all the casinos started charging for parking. But they just started before the pandemic. Some of the bigger ones did. Right. And then after the pandemic reopened in May, they didn't charge anybody. But now, December of 2021, they're starting to charge again. But there's still some that have free parking. We saw a billboard yesterday. And I'm going to try and find it again here. As we were driving around yesterday, we saw the billboard from the Estation Casinos. And the billboard basically said, we hate paying for parking as much as you do. Free parking at all Station Casinos. Now, there is no Station Casino on the Strip. There's one just off it. We're going to drive by it here in a minute. But free parking at any of the Station Casinos in Las Vegas, uh, including the Palace Station, which is up here on Sahara, uh, just a couple of minutes away. Um, here's the Palace Station right here off to the uh, right. And again, that has free parking. All the Palace Stations have free parking in Las Vegas. So just keep that in the back of your head. But none of them are on the Strip. We're kind of focusing the ones that are on the Strip that have free parking right now. I think we have to turn up here after the highway, don't we? Yeah, it's after the highway. Okay. Because we're not going to get on the strip yet. We're going to turn left away from the strip and then you turn it and come up the strip. So we're starting from the north end of the strip and going to the south end of the strip yep. to show you which ones still offer free parking at this time. And this is early in the morning, by the way. Uh, just so you know, traffic is actually really light right now. Traffic will be horrendous tonight and every night this week and then on into New Year's. Um, to be honest, if you can get a, if you're staying here in Las Vegas over New Year's and you're coming down for the fireworks, you might just want to park your car and walk or take a shuttle. So. But the first one is the one on the left, as we mentioned. They've renamed that. It was uh, for the longest time known as the Stratosphere. Now they just call it the Strat. And they still have the rides on top of it, by the way. The little baby roller coaster and the, uh, Know, shoot you over the side. So we're going to turn up here on Las Vegas Boulevard. This is technically the north end of the strip, the start of the north end of the strip. The Sahara is right across the street here. So that one also has street parking. So that's the Sahara. They actually changed the name of that for a couple of years, and they tried to call, or start calling it, I should say, the SLV instead of Sahara Las Vegas, just called the SLV. That never took off. So they rebranded it again and came back to the Sahara Las Vegas. Everybody remembers the Sahara. Nobody cares about SLV. I thought it was SLS. So we may just go in and out. We're not going into the casinos. We just want to show you that it is actually free. Yeah, I'm. I'm not going into. I, I'm. I'm up five dollars, and I think that's good for the for the week. Don't you, honey? Yes, it is great for the week. I lost nine dollars. You won fifteen. Right. So, uh, I think we're done. And we, we went into we, we went into one casino yesterday that uh, 
again, this is a midweek. It was a Monday. Yeah, technically a half a holiday day for a lot of people. But the casino, I'm not going to mention the name. The casino was absolutely packed. Trying to find a slot machine or a table game was next to impossible on a Monday. That's how busy Las Vegas is this week. So just so you know, technically this is the city limits of Las Vegas. This, the strip is not in the city limits of Las Vegas. This is the city limits of Las Vegas right here. And the Strat is inside the city limits. We're going to find parking. I, I need to look for signs. Through traffic, valet, valet, valet. I'm going to go through traffic because I think it's on the other side. I haven't been into this strat so long. Yes, I think it's on the other side. Yeah. So I think you go through here and then parking is on the other side. Yeah, self park right there. Yeah. It says self park. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go up to self park. Yeah, you really just have to follow the signs to figure out where to park for a lot of these places. And I will tell you right now, most of them don't have parking entrances on the strip, but just off the strip. Okay, so self-parking is right here. And I will tell you, if you're bringing a high vehicle, there's max clearance on most of these. A lot of the higher vehicles nowadays won't fit in here. Let's see if we have to get a ticket or anything, sweetie. Okay, nope. so we do not, see? We do not. So we just go in and we park. And of course, you have to always go up. That is the norm. Yeah, the first floor, the, even the second floor is always reserved for valet parking. So we literally went in, proved that it is free parking. Now here's the exit. So we're getting ready to head back on the strip. And I think I got a green light. Yep, I do. And we already mentioned that the Sahara has free parking. That's right in front of us. The high rise, I'm not sure what the high rise is because the high rise is not Sahara. No, that is the. Oh, the one behind it? Yeah, the one we're... That is the uh, elephant of... Uh, oh, that's... The, that's oh, Fountain Blue. Fountain Blue that's been trying to build for 25 years? Yes. Interesting. So, as we said, the Sahara has free parking. Mm hmm So, we're going to drive by the Sahara. I'm not going to bother pulling into the Sahara. However, I probably am going to come back to the Sahara to maybe go into the casino later this week while we're here because I do like the Sahara. Now, the big vacant lot, I just want to mention this, this big vacant lot across the street from the Sahara before you get to the Hilton Grand Vacation Building, that is now a concert venue, an outdoor concert venue here in Vegas. They do out outdoor concerts there in the summer. So we're coming north to south. The other thing you need to remember in Las Vegas, pedestrians always, always have the right of way, even if they don't. Just keep that in mind. People will walk right out in front of you. They always have the right of way. Yeah, you're right. That building has been 25 years they've been trying to build that building, isn't it? It has happened 25 oh, years. It feels like it, though. Yeah, this is a fountain blue on the left. It's been having a lot of issues with the builders. So if you see it, it's not completed. And yeah, not even close. Yeah, they've had financial issues. So the other one right here coming up is Circus Circus. And Circus Circus has been around for a long, long time. Uh, they have remodeled, they have rebranded inside the casinos. They've done a lot, but it's still known as Circus Circus. And they actually have circus performances inside. I don't know whether they're well, still doing that right now. They did it when we were here last time. So you're right, because of the pandemic, I don't know if they're still doing it or not. I'll have to look into that. But they have free parking. So if you want to go to Circus Circus, you will not have to pay for parking here either. Well, that's it. We'll try and look, take a look. You want to try that? Yeah. 
Okay. So you figure, figure out how to get in? Well, you to the right, right here, Adventure Dome, Dome not right there. Follow to the right. Where it says Adventure Dome? Uh-huh. Okay. Go to the right and let's try. And I'll show you where the parking is. Okay, we'll yep, try it. right we'll here. Try it. Hang on a second. I'm always into experimenting once or twice. So we're going to Circus Circus to see whether it is free parking. They do have a bungee uh, cord, a bungee thing here. I don't know whether it's still open. So I, don't, I don't think it's open now. I've bungeed before, but it's been 30 years. So Circus Circus is also one of the places that have a buffet open. They do have valet and self-parking this way. And as I mentioned, the self-parking is normally off the strip and it is here it's in the back of the casino hotel registration and parking is that where i want to go yep yep stop yep self-parking self -parking. so we want to follow the signs to self-parking So here are the garage entrances. Yep. And then there's, um, let's go in there, garage entrance two, garage two. You wanna go in garage one or garage Self -parking. two? Self-parking, um, let's see, if you go here, it's garage one. Let's go to garage one. I probably might be closer. Yeah, there's nobody collecting any tickets. And again, six foot, six inches. Oh, this is lower than the other one. The, the other, other one is six, six foot seven. seven. So that is Circus Circus. Boom, boom. Yeah, park right there, honey. I'm not going to. I could park right there. Yeah, there's a lot of parking spaces. I just want to find a place to turn around now that I've done this nicely. I think I get back into that. Well, I don't want to do that. No, you don't. It is tight in all these parking garages. I will warn you about that. Every parking garage is tight. So if you have any any hesitation about driving in tight spaces, you might want to think about parking somewhere else. So we're going to go back on the strip and head, uh, continue to head south. The uh, last time I was here, um, the convention center hadn't come across uh, Paradise yet. It has now. So the convention center here is absolutely huge. I think it's the largest convention center in the world, honey. Did is I hear it? that? I'm not sure if that's true or I'm not. I'm not sure either. Uh, somebody will tell me if I'm right or wrong. Okay, Resort World is one of the ones that has free parking right now. Well, that's the new one they just built. But it may not have free parking when they get more established. So here on the left is the Encore and the, uh, the Wind. They have free parking right now as well, right? Right. So you can go into either of those two hotels and casinos and get free yeah. parking for right. And any of this may change at any time, but for right now it's free parking and free parking is free parking. Any way to save a little bit of money in Vegas, right? Right. Coming up on the right is Treasure Island. That is another place that has free parking. Didn't fashion show? Fashion show, fashion show mall has free parking too. But we're just, for right now. For right now. But we're talking about the casinos. But if you park, if you need parking spaces, there you go, free parking there and you can walk. Palazzo, does that have free parking? Yes, it does. So the Palazzo is here on the left, that has free parking. So you've got Palazzo on the left, TI on the right, and then uh, the Venetians right next. And that has free parking as well. So right now, the closest to the middle of the strip will be the Venetian and also Treasure Island for you to be in the middle of the strip. So we'll be going down the rest of the strip and you'll see all the ones that don't have free parking. How's <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah, the expensive ones. It's right there. It says right on Treasure Island. What does it say up there? Free parking. Right on air.
that right now, to be honest, is a really good advertising slogan. <laughs> we like free. Free for free, free, free. Who does not like free? Yeah. So there's the Mirage. That's where Siegfried and Roy were. Um, do they uh, do they have free parking there? They do not. So no free parking at the Mirage. But they do have Siegfried and Roy's secret garden in there. And that you have to pay to get in to check out. Yes. And then the next one is Caesars and Harris. There is no free parking in either one. Harris is on your left. It's Casino Royale. The Link, which is formerly the Quad, formerly Imperial Palace. Formerly a lot of things. There's the Caesar's Palace. We're all Caesar's. There's no free parking at Caesar's Palace. And you have the Flamingo. The Flamingo Hotel. Yeah, that used to be a Hilton, wasn't it? It was a Hilton Flamingo, yes. Yeah. And that does not have free parking. But they do have Margaritaville in there, honey. I yes, they do. Free parking, but there's Margaritaville. So another thing that is free is coming up on the right, which you can see it is free, is the Bellagio Fountains. Oh, yeah. And that is really, really cool to watch. So there's Caesar's Palace. Wow. Caesar's wearing an NCAA shirt. I know I'm sorry, an NFL shirt. Yeah. Is that a Raiders shirt? That might be a Raiders. Well, the Raiders are here in Las Vegas now, aren't they? So we're going by next to it is the Bellagio. One of our favorite places to stay. I think the first time we came to Vegas, we just stayed there. The trick to stay in the Bellagio or any hotel on the strip is to come in Sunday through Thursday. Yeah. Come in an off time. It's going to be cheaper. Yeah. What about Bally's? We're going to go by Bally's. Do they have free parking? They do not. So Bally's, 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 Paris does not have free parking. And yet neither does the Cosmopolitan or the Aria, right? No. We're going to go by those here in a second as well. The Cromwell does not have free parking either. That used to be something else, didn't it? Yes. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Benford? Hmm? Was that the Benford Hotel? I don't remember. I don't think so. I can't remember. See, I remember when they used to have the Aladdin here. The Aladdin was, when we first came to Vegas, they just built the Aladdin. Yeah. And then it's um now planned in Hollywood. Yeah. The funny thing is the... This is this is hilarious. The buffet at Aladdin was called Spice Market. Mm -hmm. The buffet at Planet Hollywood is still called Spice Market. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they do not change that. So here's they're not doing a fountain show right now, but here's where the you can get by this truck. Here's where the fountain show at the Bellagio would be. And that is free. <laughs> and at certain times of day, like on the half hour or the hour during the day, like half an hour at night, something like that. There will be people waiting there and watching it. There is Paris, no free park at Planet Hollywood. Honey, we'll always have Paris. Yes, this is as close to Paris as we're getting to exactly. right now. One day we'll get there, sweetie. Uh, yeah, maybe. Aria. And the Cosmopolitan. And then after this, you're going to get some really big hotels. The MGM, which has so many rooms. Is Park MGM. Park MGM is part of MGM, but it's across the street. <laughs> okay. So there's MGM, which is another really big, big hotel. If you remember, MGM was in the 80s. They're the ones, the fire that happened at the MGM is the reason that every single high rise hotel had to retrofit with sprinklers in the rooms with the fire that happened here at the uh, the MGM. 
back in the, I think it was in the 80s. And New York, New York? We've not stayed in New York, New York. However, I can get a Nathan's hot dog in there and I was very happy about that. Yes, New York, New York. No free parking though, right? Yeah, uh, funny thing is we were offered free rooms at New York, New York. <coughs> at Excalibur, We're, we don't gamble, but we just have a card for MGM. And they offer us a room, except the issue is you get to pay a resort fee, which is like $38. But you need to also pay for parking, mm -hmm. which is like another $18, I think. So we just- It's not really free. It's not really free, yes. So the other one that is, has free parking is Tropicana. There is the Tropicana right there. Upset on days where Allegiant Stadium. Where the Raiders play. Right. So Tropicana has free parking. Excalibur does not have free parking. Luxor does not have free parking. And I don't believe the Mandalay Bay has free parking. It does not. When we stayed at the Luxor, they were in the middle of remodeling. They've got the weirdest elevators in the world, by the way. Their elevators almost go at a 45 degree angle. It was kind of freaky the first time we did it. I know it's there. Thank you for the beep. But uh, nice rooms in there. And there's a room tour. We have a room tour of the- Well, you didn't like it. Well, but we have a room tour of the Luxor, don't we? Yes, we do. I'm Annalie Bay. I did like Mandalay Bay. The only issue with Mandalay Bay is all the way at the end of the strip. So thanks for checking out this video. We do appreciate it. Just trying to give you a little bit of information about Las Vegas if you're coming out, whether you have to pay for parking or not. Um, any, any kind of money you can save in Las Vegas is a good thing because they don't call it lost wages for nothing. Enjoy Las Vegas if you come out and have yourself a magical day.